Wednesday on Home and Family, musical group Hillsong Young and Free are performing for us, and boxing legend Sugar Ray Leonard is visiting our home. Welcome back, everybody. Our next guest is a health and wellness expert and best-selling author, and she's here today to make us a delicious breakfast chia pudding Ooh. from her new book, Meal Prep Your Way to Weight Loss. Welcome back to our home, Nikki Sharp. We have Nikki. Good to be back. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. It's been a long time, too it has. long. Too long. Do not stay away for that Aww. long ever again. We love it when you're here. So you I'm say excited. that meal prepping really is the key to weight loss. It really is. So my first book was The Detox, and I was going to do a cookbook, but then I realized that there are so many cookbooks on the market and they don't teach you how to set yourself up for success mm -hmm. for the whole week. Mm -hmm. So I decided to write a book, there was none on the market, that teaches you how to go shopping with your shopping list and then meal prep for the whole week so that you grab and go yeah, and it right. makes it simple. Mm -hmm. And it's like when you have things in your fridge, you make yeah. better decisions. Yeah. True, and this chia pudding happens yes. to be one of those things can we that we can meal yes, prep. Yes, please do, please Dig dive in. in. Yeah. Okay, so it, you'll see there's so mm -hmm. much flavor, texture, it's really delicious. They go, you berries. And you can make yeah. this ahead of time yeah. and yes. have it for a few days. So we're going to start with chia seeds. Chia seeds are really high in fiber, which is going to help the digestive system. It's going to reduce bloating and constipation, which people don't like to talk about. But when, true. but when you are, you start to feel fatigue. You get bad skin. So wow. chia seeds are like one of the best things for you. Delicious. They're high in higher iron. They call your gut your second brain. Yes. Mm -hmm. We just had that doctor yeah. on who was talking about it. So what we're going to do is just put this in. It's so simple. This recipe literally takes like a minute to do. Okay. So we take chia seeds. Right. And then we're going to take our milk. We have almond milk here. And we're just going to pour it in. Just like that. Just like that. For people who can't have almond milk, what's your recommendation? You can do, I mean, you could do soy milk, you can do oat milk, you can actually coconut, coconut milk. You can make your own milk so easy. You just blend oats and water and straighten it. Mm. That's yeah. it. Mm. Super cheap. Wow. Mm. All right. So we do that. We're just going to mix it in. Yeah. Yep. So grab a spoon, mix it in. Okay. And then we're going to add in some cinnamon here. So okay. we're going to do a pinch of cinnamon. Cinnamon is an incredible sweetener. Mm -hmm. It also stabilizes your blood sugar. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do just a little bit of vanilla extract to give it some delicious flavor. Mm -hmm. So all you're going to do is just mix that. And this is the base of the pudding. We're going to leave it in the fridge overnight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have delicious smelling cinnamon on my fingers now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. So why do we leave it Actually, overnight? So we, one? Yeah, we'll do just one. So we're going to do that. Yeah. And then I'm going to hand you these guys. Thank you. Oh, look at that. And ta-da. Oh, and now wow. you see. Together. So it's it is gelatinized. Like a and so what the milk has done is the chia seeds have soaked up the milk. So literally overnight that's all it takes and then we get to add in all the delicious toppings yeah. and so it would be probably good just like that oh it's delicious just like that so i'll let you do that and then you can use whatever ingredients you want but for this recipe we're going to use chopped mint and the chopped mint is just incredible for your digestion again reduces mm -hmm. bloating we're going to add some sliced almonds here so we're using mango and kiwi mango you can kiwi. Use anything really. oh yeah you can use any fruit that you want seasonal berries we're gonna do it's so. Really good and mm -hmm. coconut. Yeah, I like mean, already look at how pretty that looks, yeah. right? And because right. it is so beautiful and so interesting, I bet Alexandra would love this. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And the consistency, yeah. it is like pudding. Yeah. yeah. And oh, then sweet, crunchy, mm -hmm. right? Are you? Oh, so you texture. guys are eating really all good. of it. I so love good. it. So then we're gonna have. I love this. I call myself the goji bay. Oh, yeah. Talk the bee about pollen. the bee pollen. So bee pollen and goji berries, and then we're gonna add more cinnamon on top. So. The reason that I like to add goji berries and then bee pollen is the colors. As you see, it's such a colorful mm -hmm. dish. Yeah. When you're trying to have better health or lose weight, I always say count colors. Don't worry about the calories. Don't even worry about the foods. Just count how many colors. That way you're going to get all your uh, minerals, nutrients, yeah. vitamins. Your cravings sure. will go down. Right. So well. then what's crazy about these guys, these have 20 vitamins and minerals in them. 20. Goji oh, berries. In yeah. goji berries, yeah. right? learned how to and grow them here. Right? Yeah. And and protein, too. Yeah. And they're chewy. And they're chewy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But more let's talk about yes. the, the um, health benefits of bee pollen, especially yeah. oh, local bee pollen. Yeah. So good so for you. So good. So bee, local bee pollen especially helps if you have allergies. 
allergies and going into spring and summer a lot of people are starting to sneeze a lot so you want to do one teaspoon of bee pollen up to three times a day oh, wow. and what's really great about especially like this or you can mix that into smoothies is it's antiviral antibacterial mm -hmm. so when you pair it with gin, uh, with ginger and turmeric mm. it actually can help reduce inflammation in the yep. body oh, as wow. well as headaches mm -hmm. oh wow bee yeah. pollen is so important yeah. and it tastes delicious just like this yeah it really so does. Let, while we're counting colors, let's yes. count. Just give me one one tip. One tip. One tip when it comes to meal planning. Like what? Mm. what Keep Remember, it simple. I'm a dude. Just keep, keep it okay, simple. Keep it simple. Literally, keep it simple. People think that meal prep is so hard and takes too much time. I say if you do this one night of the week and you just put chia seeds with milk, some almond extract, or vanilla extract, whatever flavor mm -hmm. you want, that's meal prepping. Right. So you are good to go with that. If you want to make hummus and chop up some veggies, that's meal prepping. So make it simple. Mm. Don't overthink it. Don't overwhelm yourself. And are you sharing a lot of this on your new podcast? Oh, <laughs> my new <laughs> podcast. I love this. Yes. Yeah, so my new podcast is called Hashtag Adulting, <laughs> and it comes out on May 29th. And it's basically all the life hacks on how to become a better adult since we're all trying to do that. And <laughs> yes. Sometimes we're good. Sometimes, sometimes we're not. not. <laughs> we're, we're all doing our be best. We're doing be our adult. best. <laughs> but the, the podcast, we're interviewing people like Dave Asprey, Frank Lippman, sure. JJ Virgin. So there's oh. a lot of experts that are coming on and giving their take on how to become a better adult. Wow. <laughs> Thank you how so much. How to simplify your life, right? Yes. Yes. Well, this is making me a better adult right here. I That's love so it. Delicious. You, by the way, Nikki. full recipe is available. Cheers. Cheers. Hallmarkchannel.com. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki's book is available so right now everywhere. Uh, don't go anywhere because Paige is helping us brush up on our decor. Ah, ah yes, I'm brushing up by showing you how to make adorable little Christmas characters, but it started as just a paintbrush. Well, there you go. That is so <laughs> cute. Plus, our family is answering each other's questions. You know, I know you guys ask us a lot of questions, but we have questions for each other, believe it or not. And Maria, yeah. I know you have one for Mark. Yes, well, as I'm adulting this summer to take care of my children, uh, uh -huh. they're outside playing, and I really want to capture those candid moments while we're outside. And Mark, I yes. have some tips for me. Oh, they are picture perfect, and you can do it in a snap. Oh. Oh. How about that for a tease, wow. huh? Wow. <laughs> But next, Debbie, wow. uh, we're going to share. Uh, uh, we're sharing a very special way to honor uh, our loved ones for this Memorial Day. 